We're delighted to have her join us here today at Richmond, so please show your appreciation for Anne MacDonald. And let's now have our seven group winners coming in. First off, it's the Papillon from the Toy Group. Followed by the Irish Wolfhound from the Hound Group. From the Terrier Group, it's the Wire Fox Terrier. Representing the pastoral breeds, it's the Samoyed. And we have the Bouvier de Flandre from the Working Group. And now from its win today, it is, of course, the Cocker Spaniel from the Gundog Group. From the utility group, of course, as you just see, it's the Sarpe. First up to be seen is, of course, from the toy group. This is the Papillon. This is the dog number 784, who's put through from the group by Anuka Palahaini. Papillons, which used to only have large drooping ears, were known in the 16th and 17th centuries as dwarf spaniels and were often depicted on the laps of French and Spanish noblewomen. Over time, an erect ear type, fringed as to resemble the wings of a butterfly, was developed and was attributed with the name Papillon, which, of course, means butterfly in French. Have a big round of applause for all of our group winners as they go around in the Geneva. This, of course, is the Papillon. to the Irish Wolfhound. This is number 1476, a bitch, who was put through to the group by Jerry Robertson. Originally, the Wolfhound could be found with either a smooth or rough coat, though in the early years there was probably great variants of type. After the last wolf was killed in Ireland before 1800, the breed almost died out and was further affected by the Great Famine of the late 1840s. The Hound Group winner, the Irish Wolfhound. This is number 2465, a dog. This is, of course, a wire fox terrier. Put through from the group by Susan Keeley from Ireland. It is probable that the rough coat or wire coat fox terrier was developed before that of the smooth fox terrier. But strangely, the appearance of the wire fox terrier in the showing was some 20 years later than that of the smooth. A strain of rough coat terriers was kept for 55 years by the Reverend Jack Russell, who, as we know, gave his name to another breed of terrier. Wire Fox Terrier from the Terrier Group.
the parcel group, we now have the Samoy. This is a dog, number 3114, who was awarded the group by Kari Yavanan. An ancient working breed, the Samoyed is a very close to the primitive dog. No mixture of wolf or fox runs through the breed's gene pool. He was developed by the Samoyed people of Siberia. They used the dogs for herding reindeer, hunting and hauling sledges, as well as guard work. The breed was cherished by these people, and they even allowed them to sleep in their tents. Partial winner, the Samoyed. come to the Bouvier de Flandre. This is the dog number 4110. He was awarded the group by Stuart Mallard. The word Bouvier can be translated as ox herd or cattle herder, and each French or Belgian region has its own type. This type, from Flanders, gained a wider reputation during the First World War when it was used both as an ambulance dog and a messenger. Many modern pedigrees trace back to a dog saved by the Belgian army vet after the breed all but nearly died out. The working group winner, the Bouvier de Flandre 4110. Today, from the Gundog group, we have the Cocker Spaniel. This is Dog 6332. Cockers were recognised as a separate breed from Field and Springer Spaniels soon after the formation of the Kennel Club in 1873. He originated as the Cocking Spaniel and derived this name from Flushing Woodcock. The Gundog Group winner, the Cocker Spaniel. <laughs> Fresh from the utility group, of course, we now come to the last of our qualifiers, this is the Sarpe, number 4897, a male. As I mentioned before, the breed's unusual name is only the start of the differences from other dogs. One of the Sarpe's most distinctive features is, of course, the truly bristly feel to his coat, which may be black, red, or fawn cream. The inside of the mouse should be black in the darker varieties. The Sarpe, from the utility group, 4897. Let's have a big cheer for our, all of our seven groupers that go around. The Bouguer, the Tondre, the Irish Wolfhound, the Samoyed, the Sarpe, the Cocker Spaniel, the Wire Fox Terrier, and the Papillon.
Anne has made her decision, so the boards are out. And the winner of Best in Show at Richmond 2016, it's the Bouvier de Flandre number 4110. Reserve best in show. It's a Samoyed, number 3114. Huge congratulations to our other group winners. Let's give them a big cheer as they leave. The Irish Wolfhound, the Sarpe, the Cocker, the White Fox Terrier and the Papillon. Congratulations to all of you. But it's a winner's day and clearly for once again, the Bouvier has topped the breeds here at Richmond. Let's hear a lap of honour from our best in show winner, the Bouvier de Flandre, followed by the reserve best in show winner, the Samoyed. Thank you very much to our judge Anne McDonald and thank you very much to you ladies and gentlemen, our exhibitors, for once again supporting the show.